Okay, one of the biggest lies is that Christians have been told tribulation is God's wrath. And I'm going to prove that to be a total lie. Now, this is a strong concordance okay, to the King James Bible, named after James Strong. And it gives you the Greek and Hebrew definition of words. And it even shows you which word you're exactly taking it from, which verse. So right here, we're looking up the word wrath. Now see how you find the word that you're looking for, wrath. It's in alphabetical order. And then it gives you the book and the verse as to which exact wrath word that you're using. In which book and which verse. And it, we are using the one that Paul uses. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 9 for god hath not appointed you appointed us to wrath and that is number g 3709 so that means greek 3709 the new testament is written in greek so we are using the exact one that people use to define god's wrath and here we are greek 3709 wrath and it says desire violent passion you see that violent passion justifiable abhorrence by implication punishment see that this is god's wrath punishment anger indignation that's revelation vengeance Wrath. You see this? It's personal. It's God taking justifiable, violent passion, anger, desire. You see that? That's wrath. That's God's wrath from his heart. Now let's look at tribulation. Now here we are at the word tribulation. Now we're going to use the one in Matthew chapter 24 verse 29. It says immediately after the tribulation of those days. And the number is G2347. Now here we are. G2347. Tribulation. It says pressure. Afflicted. Affliction. Anguish. Burdened. Persecution. Tribulation. Trouble. Is this God persecuting his own people? Is he afflicting his own people? Of course not. Tribulation is tribulation against the saints, against God's people from the world. God doesn't persecute his own people. It is tribulation, and the wrath comes partly because of what the world is doing to his saints, persecuting them. Tribulation and wrath are not the same thing. And this is the great lie, one of the great lies in Christianity.